Hello everybody, welcome to this video. So I'm starting this video off a little bit different than normal. So today we're setting up my binder. So I have all of the fillers already made for my binders, but look at this. This is only half of them, by the way. I would like to go through like all of the details of the albums first. My only issue is that it is a black background thing. Like that's what they've been using. And it's very reflective. I'm gonna try my best not to show my face, but you can see my phone, I think, which I don't care about that. But I just don't want y'all to see my face. I look horrible today, but anyway. So I'm on Kpop USA's website because I thought it would show it differently, but it shows it exactly how it does in SubK or on SubK's website. But it shows it like this. Oh my god, you can see my hand. How am I supposed to do this? Uh, here are the three different album versions. So we have the two version, the diary, and the four version. And then obviously it comes with like the photo books. It comes with an envelope which includes all the inclusions. We have the logo sticker and ornament. We have the photo card. So they have photo card A and photo card Z. So there's only two photo cards per album, which I think, oops which I think has been pretty consistent lately is just two photo cards. I used to do three, but now they've been doing two. And then it comes with a disc, a text card, a photo frame and postcard set. And then here are the postcards. There's one out of eight and then the folded poster, which you get whichever version you buy. And then this one specifically, it's the US exclusive photo card, which is the pearl version. And then the pop-up, which is the toast version photo card. They have so many different US exclusive photo cards. But yeah, so that's like the regular album. Then we move on to the digipacks. So for the digipacks, they have the eight different covers because they're member specific. And then the photo book is the same as the member that you buy. And then you have the logo sticker. You have a side film or slide, I mean, a bookmark. So this is all similar to last era. And then the disc and you get a photo card. So this photo card is, I think it's one out of six. I haven't been able to read that well, but I think it's six photo cards. If there's eight, then I messed up like with my fillers but that's okay it's an easy fix but I think it's one out of six don't quote me on that though then we have the polka albums and so for the polka albums they're doing three versions you guys three not just one there's three different polka album versions and they come with a photo stand they each have a QR code photo card and I don't know if they're different Maybe they're the same, but they're just different colors. Honestly, I have no idea, but there's three. And then same with the image card, there's three. So that's like 24 photo cards here and here, and then 24 more because they have a photo card A and a photo card Z. So they have a lot of polka album photo cards this time around. And then the stickers and then the user guide and the details and all that. I was flabbergasted when I saw that they had three polka versions. I am kind of mad, but that's okay. They haven't announced a platform yet, which is kind of suspicious. I feel like they're just going to throw that in our faces later in life, and I'm going to be really upset about it. So yeah, we have the three polka ones, and then lastly, we have a vinyl again, and it's just a vinyl, and it just comes with the like jacket cover i think that's what they call it a disc in the lyric pages a poster and then the romantic version is one of like those u.s photo cards which i think i will try to find the u.s cards here in a sec so i found these off of hello82's twitter the u.s exclusive lineup oh i did not realize my face was in there but anyway so we have the target exclusive which looks like they're holding like the target doll thingy the stuffed animal we have the uh, Target exclusive golden version, which looks like it's just the same, except it's hollow. So I feel a lot better about that. The fact that it's just literally the same exact photo card and I don't mind not having it. Then we have the Walmart exclusive, which is the Destiny version. It looks like they're holding some type of like red ribbon. And then the Barnes and Noble, which is the toast version. The vinyl exclusive, which is the romantic version. So I plan on just collecting 
you know for all of the US exclusives except for the Target and Barnes and Noble I plan on collecting OT8 for both of those just because I always end up buying eight albums anyway then we have the US oh also the US card I plan on collecting OT8 so that's the pearl version the Hello 82 is the chain version the Hello 82 digipack is the kiss version and then the pop-up exclusive is the sad potato version, which I kind of wanted to be honest because it looks cute, but I don't think I'll end up doing it. I'm just once again trying to collect just, you know, for these ones. And yeah, so I think that's all of the things so far. So now I'm going to go get my binder and now we can actually start setting up for the comeback. So here we have the Golden Hour binder. So I currently just have this random Wu Young little collage thing that I've had for forever, just so that there could be a cover for it. But I'm not even done collecting Golden Hour. I'm still missing so many Digipack photo cards, which is quite devastating, but that's fine. I'll worry about that a different day. What is this? Oh, I was going to collect Yuno's brown back ones, but I'm not going to do that, I don't think. Anyway, let's start from the beginning, or the end, I guess. We're going to start from the end, if that makes any sense. Let me get some nine pocket pages. Honestly, I don't know how many I need, so I'm just going to grab a nice little stack. I forgot that I need my filler thingies for the middle, so let me get that too. So I think the normal, or the usual way I do it is I do the album photo cards, then the digi then the polka album so that's how i'm gonna do it again so let's start you guys look at this look at this so we're gonna start with these ones the album photo cards i'll do Sungwa here Longjuni. oh i cannot believe we're having another comeback already i am really excited and kind of nervous and I don't know why. I'm just excited that Yuno has purple hair or blue. So the teaser photos or the concept photos, I guess I should say, came out already. And it looks like his hair is blue, not purple. I thought it was going to be purple, but that's that's okay. I'm good with either. I just love Yuno with some color in his hair, but also his black hair, he looks impeccable. So I don't know. I think I just, my issue is I just really love Yuno. Know? That's, that's the main thing. <laughs> okay. So we have PCA here. Now we'll do PCZ, which I think should be these ones. They already, Hello You Two did the signed albums already, and I purchased one of each version so one of the two one of the diary and one of the four versions and that's all i was planning on buying but then they announced that they were going to have the signed digi packs which i'm pretty sure they've never done that before because i feel like otherwise i would have bought them so i was kind of surprised that they announced those so i did buy four versions but I saw on Twitter this little like post thing going around that people are saying that like their managers or like staff will help them sign the albums. Like they will basically sign for them for some of them. And now I'm kind of like, mm, I hope that's not true. It's not proven or anything, but it would make sense because ATs does so many signed albums. It's kind of crazy. Now we are moving on to the diary, which I put in this like orangey-ish looking color. So I kind of believe that post, but at the same time, there's no like evidence. So if it were true, it'd be a little sad because that means they didn't touch the albums that I thought they did. The only thing you can be for sure that they signed are the like fan sign and video call albums those ones like they for sure because they're signing them while they're talking to you but i was kind of tempted to host a group order <laughs> i'm not going to but i was tempted i would have loved to talk to you know with purpley blue hair i think i would cry i don't know if i'd be mentally well but it would be so cool the last time i spoke to him I act like we're besties or something. 
but the last time was during fever zero fever part three that's the only fan sign that i've ever gotten into for 80s and i haven't really tried since i think i tried maybe once but it wasn't really like me trying i just wanted to host the group order but i haven't hosted a group order i think all this year normally i try to do like one or two a year I just have not had the time or the energy to do it. I feel like I have to be super duper excited for the comeback in order for me to get excited. But every group that I stand does so much now that it's overwhelming. And instead of feeling excited, I feel overwhelmed. But this time for 80s, I do feel really excited. So I was like this close to hosting a group order. I'm not going to. But I was debating like a fan sign attempt. Okay, now these are the four versions. So for the four version, I just decided to use this like yellowy color. I'm so excited for this comeback though. The track list sounds so good. Like Ice on My Teeth being the title track. Oh my God. Never been more excited. <laughs> I say that every era though. They just always one up themselves. And that's really hard to do because their songs are already like so good. So the fact that they do better every time is so insane to me. How? How is that even possible? Okay, also I think after this video, I need to go and buy their Digipack photo cards because I don't want to be this far behind starting an era and then not even being done with his their Digipack cards. I would like to at least have you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just, that would be nice since he's my bias. Okay. Now we'll do the Digipack photo cards. This video is probably pretty short actually, which I didn't think it would be, but it is because I'm trying not to blab too much. <laughs> but anyway, so here are the Digipack photo cards. And like I said, I'm not entirely certain if they are six photo cards or eight because I could not see that little number. But I think, I think they're six, which is a really weird number in my opinion, but I'm okay with that. I'd rather six than eight because I'm not done with last era with Digipack photo cards. They're so difficult to collect. I'm just trying to find sets on Mercari or something, but I can't. I really can't find much for that. Oopsies. I think I accidentally put Wu Young in there. Okay, put Wu Young in here. There we go. So for these ones, I just know that the digi packs are these. I didn't put like digi one, digi two. Normally I would do something like that, but this time around, I decided to just use these little pieces of paper, and then this way I'll know that it's their digi pack photo cards. And they do have like the photos, not photos, I guess. It's kind of like a blurred out version of their digi packs, and they look really cute. I didn't show that in the beginning. I should have done that. I think it's on their, like on Hello82's website, maybe, where it shows what they look like, and they're like red this time around. And their member covers. I'm so excited. Because last era, were they member? Oh, they were member covers. I think it was will era when they were just gold or silver like the fronts of them but they were member specific and i was like why don't you guys just go ahead and make the covers members as well or the members as well instead of just gold or silver i thought that was really weird during that era i was kind of disappointed because i really wanted the member covers Alrighty. I don't know what number we're on though, but the stack is getting pretty small, so I think we're like halfway there with the Digipack ones. I need to do some binder maintenance still. I feel like I've been doing binder maintenance 
this entire like last half of the year and I'm so sorry if you guys are sick and tired of it but I still have I think maybe one more binder maintenance video hopefully left and I think ooh, there's like a hair on this one and I think I want to do it on this channel I've been doing a lot of the binder maintenance on my second channel but I plan on maybe filming later today I'm feeling a little like sick I don't know I feel like my throat is kind of starting to hurt I'm scared I'm gonna get sick so I think I might rest the rest of the day instead of filming we'll see I might end up filming I don't know maybe I'll feel better later in the day it's only I think two yeah it's 151 so yeah it's only two o'clock and today is actually the day that they changed at the time it's November 3rd and so we like got an extra hour or whatever but it does feel like it's going to be three like I still feel I don't know I don't know why they do the time change well like I know why but but anyway so I might film that but I plan on doing it for this channel and then on my second channel I'm actually planning on doing a huge like 80s vlog which I'm kind of excited for. Let me go get some more nine pocket pages. Honestly, I still don't know how many I need. Grabbed another stack. But I plan on filming the kind of the process. So I actually filmed a little bit this morning of me like writing on these things, like making the polka ones actually. So these ones. So these are for the polka album. And oh, and so I did do this and filmed and I was just kind of talking about the comeback and then I just kind of plan on doing little updates so whenever they have the tracks you know how they do like the teasers of the songs I plan on probably filming that too maybe doing like a little reaction or just maybe my thoughts not necessarily a reaction so I plan on doing that uh i plan on vlogging on the 15th so on comeback day i plan on going to target and barnes and noble and picking up the albums from my unboxing on this channel but i plan on doing a little vlog i've been asked a few times to do a vlog i just the reason why i don't do it is because i always take a half day for 80s comebacks so i don't leave work until noon but because i'm just doing the full day off I can vlog and I won't feel super like time crunch like I'm on a time limit situation so that'll be better for me so then I can go ahead and film a vlog for you guys and that'll be on my second channel so that I plan on doing like just a big 80s comeback video which I've always wanted to do one and I've actually, I think twice, so for Will and during Golden Hour Part 1, I did film clips. I just never posted them. Like I filmed like a little mini vlog situation, <laughs> but I never posted them because I don't know. I just didn't do like the final Target Barnes & Noble vlog and so I just kind of didn't like how that video turned out or the clips turned out. So I just didn't do it. <laughs> But I feel like I should have just posted it anyway. Done like a super tiny little mini vlog. But hopefully I will end up posting it. Maybe I won't do it and I'll scratch that video idea <laughs> if I don't like the clips. I'm just really excited about this comeback. Definitely going to need more pocket pages. I did not grab enough. So the way that I did these is I just did purple, this darker pink, and then the uh, four version is like a lighter pink. I don't know. So just the colors that I was feeling this time around. So I decided to do that. And then there's the four different photo cards. So there's that QR code photo card, the image photo card, and then photo card A and photo card C. So there's quite a few photo cards. I think I'm more worried about the digipacks still though because I never buy that many digipacks for me to collect all of the photo cards. The polka albums I am starting to get kind of worried about them too. 
I wish they would just give us full sets. Like, I can't believe they didn't give us a full set of photo cards inside of the polka album. I'm going to try not to complain too much this era because I feel like it gets kind of tiring complaining. Like, not just the fact that I'm complaining, but listening to the complaints about it. And I just don't want to be negative for this comeback. I just want all the positive vibes. So that's why I'm trying my best to be positive and be like, it's going to be okay. Like, I can do this. And if I can't do it, then that's also okay. Let me know below if y'all are still collecting OTA because I know a lot of people have dropped their OTA collection. I've also gotten comments that people just started their OTA collection and they're already feeling super overwhelmed, <laughs> which I completely understand that feeling. Okay, it looks like I need five more pages. I think I grabbed exactly five pages because we have this one and then the four for the four version. But yeah, let me know. Are you guys collecting? Who are you collecting? What are you collecting? Are y'all collecting the pubs? I wasn't going to collect pre-order benefits this era for you know, just like maybe 10 or 15 of them. And then I saw the freaking purple, what I thought was purple hair, and I was like, all right, I'm going to join all the group orders now. And I did. Not all of them, but almost all of them. But I do want all of the photo cards with him in the blue hair <laughs> as many as I can find and I see that he still has blue hair which worries me so I think the entire era he has blue hair which means I need to collect all the photo cards this era for him and I was not planning on that I really wasn't but I'm just gonna do as much as I can I don't want to stress about his pre-order benefits too too much Oh gosh, okay. We're almost done, y'all. This wasn't too bad, I hope. I mean, like I said, I think this video is probably pretty short. I didn't have too, too much to blab on about. I feel like I blabbed this morning when I filmed the clip for the vlog that I'm doing. And so now I'm kind of like, what should I talk about? Almost done. Card A. I'm really glad though that I started collecting OT8 when I did, which I think was during, oh god, when was it? Probably during one of the fever eras, like one, maybe part two, I think, was when I started collecting OT8. And I'm so glad because I went backwards and I collected all of their treasure photo cards. But now everybody's saying that those are really hard to find, especially because they don't sell the albums anymore. They did do a little mini restock, but it was not first press. They were second press. And so the photo cards are slightly different, like the edges are, because I think they were squared. But second press is rounded edges. So like you can tell which ones are first and which ones aren't and all my photo cards are first press so once again so so unbelievably grateful to past mirror for collecting that when i did because otherwise i'd be struggling right now i probably would have given up though a few eras ago oh my gosh we did it so if they have platform photo cards, I'll probably add them. I like to do digipack and then platform. But yeah, so I think that is everything for this video. I'm trying to end somewhere cute. I really like this color purple, so I'm going to end it here on the two version QR code photo cards. That is, oh, hopefully, oh, I think I was a little bit like angled this way, but... Hopefully that's not annoying for y'all. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are excited for this comeback too. Because I'm so freaking excited. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see y'all in the next one.